About a week ago, I was five hours into a 10 hour print and disaster struck. This big glob showed up and well, the problem was obvious. My X belt snapped. This being my first printer and not knowing the severity of the situation, I figured the world was over. A few Googles later and well, it seems like, while not as common as having to replace your nozzle, it's something that can just kind of happen. But I couldn't find a video for my exact model printer, in fact, I couldn't find many videos at all. And the ones I did left me feeling, well... So, using this guide for a similar model printer, and some Google searches of helpful keywords followed by the word Reddit, I got to work. First I ordered a replacement belt online. My research led me to discover that most printers use 6mm wide GT2 belts. Depending on your belt, you can check the bottom of it and it may even tell you. The 6 meaning 6mm wide, and GT2 standing for Gran Turismo 2. Also I forgot to order these brass crimps that you'll need, but I'll go over that later. The guide said to first remove the cover on the x-axis motor. On my printer it was this guy, and after taking a look around the cover, I saw that it looked like this one screw and two clips were holding it on. Using a screwdriver to push the clip so it unclip, I took the cover off and set it aside. Now here I got bamboozled. The guide said to remove the cover on the tensioner and, well, my printer doesn't need that to happen. Undoing the wrong screws left me panicked for an hour, trying to seal these loose components back up. No matter your model printer, you want to remove the tensioner mechanism, whether a cover needs to be removed or not. On my printer, it's just this one screw, and then the whole mechanism slides right off. Now, remove the belt from it and set it aside. I then disconnected the cable and the Bowden tube from the printy part, as the printer and the guide needed to have the printy part slide off the rail. My printy part doesn't fit past this bracket without taking apart some more stuff, but I'm going to try to cheese the belt through without having to take the whole thing off. Next I slid off the old belt from where it attaches using the crimps. Essentially the belt just goes in these slots and the crimps prevent it from pulling out. It was here I realized I needed to order some new crimps, so I put everything away for the time being. Three days later. The crimps arrived and I pulled everything back out. I took my old belt and measured it, and then cut the new belt to be an inch or so longer to give me some room for error. After buying a crimping tool and not knowing how to use it, I instead just grabbed a pair of pliers and pinched the crimp a few times until I was satisfied with the result. Not pretty, but it works. Taking my now crimped side of the belt, I fed it back into the slot the old belt was in and wrapped the belt up and around the x-axis motor gear. And then slid it under the wheels of the printy part. Make sure your belt is in the top and bottom groove during all of this. Then I grabbed the tensioner and wrapped the belt around the gear inside. I can see why the guide I was following me wanted me to remove this, but the Viper's tensioner cover leaves plenty of room to get the belt where it needs to go. Finally, I wrapped the remaining belt back under to where the crimp side was, slid the belt into the other groove, and slipped the crimp on. Make sure your tensioner is loose and hold the belt tight as you crimp it. This way, once the belt is secured, you can tighten it back up and there won't be much slack. From here I just reattached the X motor cover, plugged the cable and Bowden tube back in, and put everything back into my enclosure. I auto leveled the bed, making sure things were working as intended, and since I happened to break this part of my chain link cable cover mod while doing this fix, link in the description. I printed another one to give the printer one final check. And well, it turned out fine, so I did it. I fixed my printer. Hopefully you found this video quality, and until next time, take care.